Hello my sweet youtubers, welcome to my channel. This is the look I'm bringing today. Was totally inspired by Jeffree Star's look. Well, I must tell you, it was not very easy to recreate the look, but in the end I decided to bring you my version of the makeup. So, for this look I used a lot of yellow, pink, red, purple, grey and black. With this feathers and the hair like this, I think I'm looking like a very modern version of Mae West. What do you think? Do you like this look? Do you want to see how I did it? Well, just keep watching this video. Have fun! Well, that's my face without any makeup, so let's get started. I covered my face. If you want to see some um, videos where I cover my face and I do my, the base of my makeup, just check my profile. Well, I needed a lifting because, you know, after 45, your face starts to change. Now I'm starting to draw my eyebrows. I do it with a brown pencil just to have an idea where I'm gonna draw it for good. Now with a black pencil, I finish the, the drawing. And with my angled brush, I go with some black eyeshadow and I finish completely the eyebrows. Jeffrey Star has this really, really um, pronounced and big eyebrows. That's what I try to do. Now I just used my cream makeup by Grimace, white under the eyebrows to the highlight and now I powder it. Now I go on the top of my lids and in the inner corner of the eyes with the same cream makeup, white by Grimace, and I powder it. The difference is for the highlight I used a lot of white. Well now I start under the waterline with my black eyeliner, I do this wing in the outer corner of the eyes, and now with black the black eyeshadow, I start blending it with the eyeliner and you can work slowly, very slowly. Now with the yellow eyeshadow, I start covering the entire lid and you can start already blending it upwards and you produce this effect. Now with the creamy makeup by Grimace, uh, this time uh, pink, I start to create this false crease. And don't you worry, you don't have to blend it right now. You just start adding now the pink eyeshadow and now you start little by little blending it upwards till you get something more or less like this. And now you can already add and blend more under the waterline. You can add a little bit of um, pink if you want under the waterline. And now I take my red, this time, eyeshadow and I start making this pink look more darker. And it always blends upwards. Now it's not very well mixed, but now you take your fluffy brush and you blend it everything and you should get something like this now and now it's just a question of being patient go for your eyeliner and produce this kind of Egyptian look and now with my light purple I start adding more depth to the crease and always blending the colors together. Remember, upwards with your fluffy brush and you blend it. Now it's time to add a little bit of pink and the purple under the waterline and always blending with the same fluffy brush. And now what I am doing is just adding more yellow 
in the top of my lid just to make the eyes pop a little bit more and now you can go for the details like more black here more black there where you think you really need more color and you can start putting more black on the top of your waterline and start already working the gray the dark gray to really give even more depth to the look and more pink and more purple this is just a matter of being patient and adding the colors now you can wipe the mess a little bit away and you can start building your lips and this time I decide to use a pink lipstick and now my blush just mixing the colors together and remember I always do this very dark blush but it's because I'm always doing this makeup for my videos and I have lots of lights here in my room mascara I'm gonna add my false eyelashes and my contact lenses and my gorgeous gloss more details here and there and that's it I am done this is the look I'm bringing today I hope you did like it I'm very sorry for the wig was not very well uh, calmed but I was in a hurry to do this video because you know I work very early in the morning normally in the afternoons I'm really tired but I was so excited to try this look that I didn't have the time to fix my wig but that's it thank you very much I do hope you like my new look don't forget to subscribe to leave your message and to visit my shop so thank you very much and I see you very soon bye